Hi guys, welcome to learn with Pinky. As you know, I am Pinky. Wow, what is that? Looks like we have friends from space. Welcome to Earth, dear alien friends. I am Tony. Hi, Tony. What is so special that you have come to Earth today? We heard that children are learning English language with Pinky. So, we thought of learning with you too. That's great. Welcome to Learn with Pinky. We are so excited. What are we going to learn today? Yes, the topic for this video. Let me give you some clues. Car, cars. Puppy, puppies. You guess today's topic? Yes, you are right. Today's topic is singular and plural nouns. What are we going to learn? What are singular nouns? What are plural nouns? Who is to form a plural nouns? Singular nouns refer to one like car, baby. Plural nouns refer to more than one like cars, babies. Whenever there is only one, like in this picture, see, there is only one car, one baby. So, they are all singular nouns. Whereas in this picture, we see two cars, two babies. They are more than one. So, they refer to plural nouns. Hey, Jerry, what is the plural form of car? Oh! Is it car with an S? Oh wait! Is it car with V-A-S? Oh no! Is it car with I-A-S? Oh Pinky! It is very confusing! Don't worry, I will help you to learn them easily. Yahoo! Now I am relieved! We are going to learn 5 rules to form plural nouns. Rule number one, when nouns end with ph, sh, o, x, s and ss, we add es like bench. It ends with ph, so we add es and make it benches. Bush, it ends with sh, so we add es and make it bushes. Tomato, it ends with o, so we add es. And make it tomatoes. Box. It ends with X. We add ES and make it boxes. Bus. It ends with S. So we add ES and make it buses. Last. In the end it has SS. We add ES and make it classes. Can I tell a funny thing? Remember it? See this boy. Magic shock waves are coming from his head. So we pronounce it as ch shocks. Stands for the snake hissing. Can I say it again? Ch shocks. So rule number one tells us that if words end with shocks we add es rule number two when words end with f and f e we replace them with ves example wolf it ends with f so we replace it with ves and pronounce it wolves shelf it ends with an f so we replace it with an V-E-S and pronounce it shelves. Knife. It ends with an F-E. 
so we replace it with V E S and pronounce it knives. Wife, it ends with an S E, so we replace it with V E S and make it wives. Now let's go to roof. It ends with an F, so do we replace it with an V E S? No, no, but not here. Let's go to safe. It ends with an F E. So do we take it and replace it with V E S? No, no. We just plainly add S to both the words. Why? Because some words in grammar only end with the plainly S for their plural forms. What are those words? Don't worry. When you grow big and learn about English grammar, you will come across those words and you will learn them. Rule number three: If a word ends with a consonant plus y, we replace it with i e s. Like lady, the consonant d is followed by a y. So what we have to do is take away the y and replace it with i e s. Now let's check on baby. The consonant b is followed by a y. So we have to take the y and replace it with i e s. So it becomes b a b i e s, which pronounces baby. Rule number four: If a noun ends with vowel plus y, we add s, like monkey. The vowel e is followed by a y, so we add s. And now let's move on to boy. B o y. The o is followed by a y, so we add s and make it boys. Rule five. For other words, we simply add s, like cat. We add s and make it cats. Question. We add s and make it questions. School. We add s and make it schools. Now let's summarize the rules we have learned. All the five rules. Rule number one. When words end with ch, shops, we add es. When words end with F and F E, we replace them with V E S. When words end with consonant followed by a Y, we replace it with I E S. When words end with vowel followed by a Y, we add S. For all other things, we just simply add S. Now we are going to learn about irregular plurals. For some words, they do not follow the rules how to use plural forms. They have irregular plurals. Like for example, mouse, mice, goose, geese, man, men, woman, woman, cactus, cacti, ox, oxen, child, children, tooth, teeth. Foot, feet. Some nouns have no plural form, but can be used in singular or plural form as they are. Like example, sheep, sheep, fish, fish, deer, deer. That's it. Today's class is over. So what did we learn? What are singular nouns? What are plural nouns? Rules to form plural nouns. Hey Jerry, what is the plural form of fox? A fox ends with X. We add ES to the fox and make it foxes. Wow, good job. Hi viewers. I hope you enjoyed learning with Pinky. Now it's question time. What is the plural form of which? Remember rule number one? Ch, shots. 
So what do you do when you get words which end with ch shocks s s? That's right. We add e s to the word and it becomes witches. Second question. Leaf. What is the plural form of leaf? It ends with f. So what do we do? That's right. We replace the f with v e s and make it leaves. Let's check. Yes, you've got two stars so far. Third question. City. We have the consonant T followed by Y. Now, what is the rule to form the plural when you have a consonant plus Y? That's right. You add I E S by replacing the Y. Let's check the answer. C I T I E S. Three stars. Fourth question. What is the plural of toy? Do you see that you have a vowel followed by Y? What do we do? That's right. We add S to the word. And it becomes toys. Four stars. And the last question. Girl. Do we have any rule for this? No. So what do we do? We simply add S to it and make it girls. Five stars. Good job, children from Pinky. Wow. We had fun learning today. By alien friends. Goodbye, Pinky, Tony, Anu and Jerry. They are out of the world. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Learn with Pinky. Hit the bell button and don't forget to click like. Those who answered the question correctly and got 5 stars, please mention it down below in the comment section. I will read it. Bye for now. See you in the next episode. Bye.